Hi everyone, thank you for joining me this morning. Today is my very first free live high intensity interval training workout. It'll consist of a few different Tabata type exercises and a lot of different uh, timed sets. So we'll get started. Um, all you need today is your, you can do a lot of this with body weight. Um, we're gonna do some of this with bands. I like these ones. You can use the ones with the handles as well or the like TheraBand style. Uh, whatever you have is great. If you don't have any, don't worry. You can still do it uh, just body weight um, on your own. The other style I like are these uh, booty band style ones. Um, actually, these ones I got on Amazon. They're like, you can get them for like 10 bucks. Um, and then this one is the booty band style. I got a set of three of them from Judd North. Uh, they're about $22 for the set. Uh, and they're, they're useful that way for uh, various types of exercises. So we won't need any weights today. Um, we will progress to that, uh, but today it will just be bands and body weight. Um, so we'll just get right into it. Uh, the warm up. We're just going to start with a few basic exercises. Um, so we're going to use the band for some of this. If, like I said, if you don't have a band, that's totally fine. We'll just do body weight. Or if you wanted to add a little bit of resistance, a little bit of weights to it, um, you can actually use water bottles if you don't have weights. You could use like canned food, canned beans, whatever you've got in your cupboard. Uh, just to create a bit of a resistance. So for the first exercise, um, we're just going to use uh, the band uh, for some squats. So you're just going to stand on a single part of it, bring the, the top of that, twist it up, bring it up to your shoulders, and we're just going to squat. We're going to do 10. So squatting down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, so the next one we're going to do are thrusters. I will demonstrate uh, and explain every, one, every exercise that we do before we start. So the next one uh, will be thrusters. So you're going to stay on that band of the single one. Uh, you're gonna pull the top of that up to your shoulder area, like you're in a press position. You're gonna squat down and then press overhead. And you can really stretch it out, stretch out the shoulders. We're gonna do it for 10. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So the next one we're going to do is alternating shoulder V press. So we're going to keep the band up overhead with that nice V spread. And you're just going to drop one arm at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just Really warming up the shoulders really nicely. We're gonna repeat that for one more time. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. The next one we're going to do are ten reverse lunges. So we're gonna put the band away for that. And you're just going to step backward onto your mat, come down, almost bringing the knee down to touch, but not quite, and then back up. So we're going to do 10 of those. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Our next one are going to be curtsy lunges. So very similar to a reverse lunge, but you're going to take a slight step behind and to the side. So you're going to bring your left foot behind the right and then back up. And we're going to alternate. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Our next exercise that we're going to do here is can walk. So you're going to step to the back of your mat, 
You're gonna squat down, hands down, you're gonna walk it out and walk it back. We're gonna do five of those. Two. Three. Four. And five. Our next one is going to be, we're going to stay down <laughs> and we're going to do plank push-ups. So you go from your plank, you lower down to your forearms and then back up. So we're going to do five on each side. So one, alternate, that's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and that's ten. Our next one is going to be from the same position. It's just going to be plank, shoulder tap. So staying in your plank, and for ten, you're just tapping each shoulder and going back down. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Our next one will be also from the plank position. It's going to be T rotation. So you're just going to slightly roll to the side and extend the arm up and come back down. And then other side. That's three, four, five. You can do this from your knees as well if you need to modify. Seven. Just bring your knee down. Eight. Nine. And ten. If you're anything like me and you're always injured, just be careful and make sure to keep those joints and sore spots safe. So that's our warm up. So feel free to get a drink. Mine here is the uh, Pre Vinyasa Green Energy from. Niyama. I actually like to uh, drink about half of this before I come down for my workouts and then I refill it with water so that it keeps me hydrated for my workout. So I hope that wasn't too bad. That was just our warm-up. So <laughs> we're just getting started. So for our next set, we're actually going to be doing Tabata style workouts. So it'll be a 20 seconds on, 10 second rest for 10 sets. So it's five minutes of work. So I'm just gonna get the Tabata timer set up here. We'll switch between various exercises uh, and really get the blood pumping. It's a great uh, fat burning style workout. It gets your, your, uh, your heart pumping, it gets you breathing heavy, it'll get you sweating pretty good. So. So, uh, like I said before, I will explain each exercise before we get to it, um, and then we'll, we'll carry on with each one. So for the first one, we're going to do high pulls uh, to the right. So you're going to step on that band uh, between your feet, you're going to reach down and pull up, reach down and pull up. And we're doing this for 20 seconds. So pull to the right. We've got five seconds left. You always want to be careful not to uh, pull with your low back. You're focusing on the center, like your main center, so you're tightening up your core, activating, and then we're going to the left. Oops. Slipped out of my bed. <laughs> so we're going to the left. <laughs> keep your legs tight, keep all those muscles activated, and really protect that lower back. Okay. 
All right, that's 20 seconds. So we have a 10 second rest here. Sorry, I was talking and caught myself. So we went a little bit long on the right. <laughs> so now we're going to alternating curtsies. So we're going to the left, or to the right, sorry, and then to the left. To the right, to the left. To the right, and left, and right, and left. Right, left, good. Oh, let me turn the sound on, that would help. Oh my goodness. There we go. That helps. All right, so now we are going for a curtsy, a reverse lunge, and a high knee, an alternate. Reverse, high knee. Curtsy, reverse, high knee. Curtsy, reverse lunge, high knee. Curtsy, reverse, high knee. Our next one, we're gonna repeat that. We're gonna do that again. So curtsy, reverse lunge, high knee. Curtsy, reverse lunge, high knee. Oh, my dog's coming down to say hello. Curtsy, reverse lunge, high knee. Curtsy, reverse, high knee. Curtsy. <laughs> There's Dudley. Uh, our next one is going to be a straight arm burpee or a half burpee. So you're going down into a burpee, but you're not actually completing the full push up. So just shooting back to a high plank, then back forward and stand up. Shoot back, shoot forward, stand up. Back, forward, stand up. Shoot back, forward, stand up. One more, come on, and stand up. Okay, our next one are going to be reverse push ups. So, you're gonna be in the plank position, send the hips back, and come forward. And back, and come forward. And back, and forward. And back, and come forward. And send the hips back, and come forward and push up. Our next one are going to be hand walk push up. High up. Come on, buddy, over here. Up and head. Okay, so you're doing a hand walk and a push up. And walk it back. You can, do your, you can go down to your knees for the push up if you have to. If you need to modify, that is absolutely fine. So if you have to come down to your knees for the push up, come back up and walk it back. Our next one. Our uh, plank push ups with a crossover. So I'm gonna come to the side for this one. So we're gonna drop down, come back up, cross, and then do it again. And back up, cross over, and push up, cross over, and down. Okay, and we have one more set. And they're just doing a forearm plank. And 20 seconds here. If you want to challenge yourself here, you can actually do some hip dips from side to side, or just hold your forearm plank. Up to you. All right, that's your first set. So that was five minutes of work. Grab a drink, towel off if you need to, and then we'll get into our next set. Let me set up my timer here. So our next set is actually going to be a little bit longer. Uh, we're gonna be doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. So catch your breath and we'll get right into it. So these next uh, sequence of movements, uh, because we are working longer, uh, feel free to slow it down and just take your time so that you can work the full set. So we'll get that started. So the first one we're gonna be doing is a drop squat and snatch and it's just body weight. So you're just jumping to the side, dropping down, and back up, 
and reach into the sky. So drop, spot, and snatch. Drop, snatch. Drop, snatch. Drop, and up. And up. If you want to go faster, you can go as fast as you want. This is your workout. Take it where you want. You can alternate your arms. Jog down there. There we go. Sit. <laughs> You're fun. It's a seesaw lunge. So you're gonna take your right foot, go forward lunge, and then reverse lunge. Same side. So forward, reverse. We're gonna do this for the whole set. Reverse. Go as fast or as slow as you like. Remember, we're working for 40 seconds. And reverse. And forward, reverse. Forward, reverse. Forward, reverse lunge. Forward lunge, reverse. Forward, reverse. Forward, just stand. Good job. So now, you guessed it, we are going to the left side. So we're going to repeat that. Left leg stays still. Right leg goes forward or back. Good boy. Isn't he handsome? Isn't he handsome? See? So left leg planted, forward lunge, and reverse. All on the right. Forward, reverse. Forward, and reverse. Forward, reverse. Forward, reverse. Forward. Reverse. forward and reverse, and I'm gonna, this is my first live workout, so I'm going to try and figure out how all of this works and uh, save it to my page so that you guys can find it later if you wanted to do it again or if you just aren't able to uh, join me live, you can do them in your own time. So we're going back to the band for the next one and we're doing some more banded thrusters. So if you remember from warm up, I'm going to stand on his feet, the band comes up to your chest in a press position, you squat down and reach up. So squatting down and reaching up. Squatting down, reaching up. And you can ex extend the arms open for that nice shoulder stretch at the top if you like. So you're coming down, elbows touch the knees and up. Down and up. Down and stretch it out. Down and stretch it out. Down and stretch it out. Maybe for the last 10 seconds, we'll do them quick. So quick, good, strong, fast paced thrusters. There we go. Good job. So the next one we're going to do are shoulder taps again. Actually, you know what? No, we're not doing that one yet. We're doing squat flies. I changed my mind. So you bring the band behind your back, and you're just going to squat down and fly forward. Squat and fly. Squat, fly. So just bring your arms forward, palms to touch, and then back up. Flying down, reaching forward. We got about 14 seconds left. And last one. Good job. All right, so now we're going to do those shoulder taps, uh, just like in the warm up. But it is 40 seconds this time and not 20. So take your time, don't speed through them, and we'll get through it. Up and 
and just shoulder tuck. If you have to take it from your knees uh, for any reason, if you have injuries, if you're warming up to this, working up to this, uh, you can always drop to your knees and do that from, from your knees. I do have an injury to my left wrist, so on occasion when that really starts to bother me, I'll modify as well. I'll try to remember to uh, point out modifications uh, for each exercise when I can. Um, if you ever have any questions or you're looking for some other something I haven't explained, just send me a message and uh, I'll try to help you out as best I can. So the next set, um, we're going to bring the band around the back again, just like you would in a squat fly. Coming up into plank, and you're just going to do four punches. So hand to the ribs and back down. Hand to the ribs, back down. Up. So it's kind of like a chest press with the band in the push-up position. <laughs> I like to keep my feet a little wider apart for balance. It helps me uh, stabilize and not fall over. Alright, next set we're going to be doing like a reclined thruster. So we're coming on onto your back. Uh, you can do this body weight as well if you don't have a band. Um, get into the, the band goes around the bottom of the feet. And just like you would if you were standing, you're going to just extend the body lengthwise. Just extend and lengthen and come back. It's a great core workout because you're working on the leg raises as well. Great for core activation. It's a good full body exercise. Again, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Whatever pace you choose. The next one we're going to do, you're going to bring your band around your back again. If you don't have a band, uh, you can do this either body weight or you can use like water bottles, whatever's weighted, just to give yourself a little bit of resistance. And we're just going to do a band chest press from the floor. When I bought these bands, it actually comes in different, uh, different resistances. You can get packs of four or you can get single ones. Sometimes I like to switch to the more, a little bit more resistance if these are a little bit too easy. Or you can add weights to them. Uh, but being that this is more of a beginner workout to start. We're just going to take it a little bit easier, a little bit lighter. And our last one for this round is going to be scissor kicks. So staying on your back, you're just going to do those flutters for 40 seconds. So don't tie yourself down just yet. We've got three seconds. Two, one, and go. So just scissor kicks. Just to uh, 
really speed things up because it is only 20 seconds of work. We're going to work just a little bit harder. So again, it's another 10 exercises, 20 seconds each. You have five minutes of work. At least coming back. Just lateral hip drops. So coming into like a four point 
your knees are off the ground, you just drop in the hip to the ground. And twisting side to side. So left to right. Left to right. Left. Right. Here we go. Good job. So grab a drink. And then the hard work is done. We're just going to stretch it out. Uh, this is a bit of a cool down stretch out. You can join me here or you can cool down whatever way you choose. Uh, but just make sure you do a bit of one regardless of whether you join me or not. Cool down is very important just to help slow the heart rate back down. And stretching will help with any kind of sore muscles that you might get uh, following today if this is new. Turn that off. All right, so we're just going to stretch out the shoulders. So bring your right arm across your body and just hug it with your left. Hug it in as tight as you can. We did do some shoulders today. We did some shoulders, low legs, some chest. So we're going to stretch that all out. I'm going to have to get Dudley to get off my mat at some point. Because <laughs> he's a little in the way. Alright, bring your left across. Hook it with your right. And bring the right behind the head. And just grab the right elbow with your left hand. Give it a bit more of a stretch. Nice shoulder opening. Switch to the left. Come down to the mat. We're going to thread the needle. We're going to move back here. I hope you can still see me. Um, so you're in your tabletop position. You're going to take the right hand and thread it through. Bring the shoulder down and down to the mat. You can bring your left hand around to bind around the, left, the right thigh. I'm going to just lay there for a moment. We are in the middle of a basement reno. We do have our gym now, but uh, there's no doors or anything over these events or anything yet, so <laughs> it's coming though. All right, bring the right hand down, pushing up. I'm gonna come down. I gotta get Dudley to move here. I stay on the move. You're in the way. Come on, up you get. No, oh, come on. Up you go. Come on, we're stretching. Come on, move. Dudley. <laughs> Dudley, come on. <laughs> <laughs> These are beasts. <laughs> so coming down onto your chest, if you're in a, a T, you're going to just push yourself up with your left hand and roll and really open the chest to the right. Just really stretch out the chest there. You don't want any discomfort here, so only go as far as is comfortable. So whatever that looks like for you, that's where you want to be. Okay, I'm coming back to center, sending the left arm out and rolling over it. You can bend your knee for support. You can bring the right arm behind the back if you like. Just 
Okay, coming back to center. We're going to do some really nice low side lunges. So coming right down, lifting the left toes off the ground and squatting deep down into the right side. And just hold there. And then we're going to cross over to the left, lifting the right toes off the ground. This might feel different side to side, depending on uh, how, what your flexibility is like, what your mobility and range of motion is like. I know that squatting to this side is, I, I don't have the same amount of movement or flexibility on my left side as I do on my right. So my, my heel tends to come up off the ground. Um, but over time, this will improve and you'll gain that flexibility and be more even on uh, both sides. So we're just gonna do this a couple of times, just going from side to side. Other side. And one more on each side. You can take your hands off the ground if you want to try that for more balance. And then going to the left. And coming back up, and we're for, we're do a wide leg fold here. Just a quick one before I come down. So keeping that wide leg fold, we're gonna just fold forward. This one's always been a challenge for me. I don't know why. <laughs> My inner thighs seem to be super, super duper tight and it's very hard to loosen them up. So I practice this one a lot uh, just to help with that. You can hold this for as long as you want. If you're really tight like I am, sometimes I'll hold this for two minutes at a time um, just to really help open up and stretch really tight muscles. So bring your feet together. We're going to fold forward. You don't want to pull on, a, on, your, uh, on the rounded back, so only stretch forward as far as you can go that's comfortable. Um, and you want a straight spine. So. I'm touching my toes, but I'm not pulling on my back. I'm just letting my body weight uh, do all the work as I lean forward and I don't go beyond what's comfortable. I've had enough hamstring pulls that I've learned my lesson here. <laughs> and it's always from folding and never from actual exercise. <laughs> Alright, bringing the feet together to a butterfly. So feet together, you can spread the feet apart and use your elbows to press down into your inner thigh to help open up and deepen the stretch. Bring your knees close together, coming up. We're going to go into just a bit of a little lizard lunge in yoga. If you're here, that's fine. If you can come down to your forearms, that's great. And if you can come lower, that's awesome too. Um, just go as deep as is comfortable. Uh, I love this stretch. It's a great hip opener. It helps to alleviate a lot of tightness there. Um, if you're sitting a lot at work, um, a lot of us are in the office, a lot of us are working from home. Uh, this is a great stretch to help open up and loosen up the hips that uh, don't get a lot of movement during the day. Uh, so this one's a great one for that. So feel free to hold this as long as you like. This is another one I like to sit in for extended periods of time. It's, it's not an uncomfortable pose and the benefits uh, have been pretty fantastic. So Coming up. I'm just going to hook my back foot 
and pull that in toward the body. So if you want to hold that where you were, uh, just down on your, either on your palms or your forearms or wherever you are, that's fine. Just stay there. If you want to deepen that quad stretch or if it's accessible to you, uh, just pull on that left foot. I'll turn to the side so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So I'm, put, I'm rubbing that foot and I'm stretching out the quad with left. I find that that helps a lot with the hip tightness as well because it pulls from all in here. And loosening that up. So now we're just going to extend. So we're going to come from our lizard where we're this way and we're just going to extend backward into a bit of a fold. Straightening, you're just straightening that front leg, straightening it out, and sinking back into the left, the left hip, left leg. And the last one on this side, we're going to come into a pigeon. So. The further forward you can get your foot, the better. Uh, it's great for hip opening, but if, it doesn't, if your body doesn't allow for that, you can absolutely bring it in here. You always want to flex this foot to protect your knees. So wherever you are here, coming into pigeon, just holding here for a moment. And then if you can, and it's accessible to you, coming down into a sleeping, resting pigeon. You can stay here or you can deepen the stretch. I like to curve or pull my leg inward when I do this. Um, but again, same idea as the lizard. Just hook your left foot and pull that in toward the body. This will help deepen your stretch. If it's accessible. If you're dehydrated, don't try this. Um, you will get hamstring cramps. <laughs> okay, releasing the foot. We're going to switch, so bringing your right knee back now. And that's all. So bringing your left, knee, or left foot forward, coming into the lizard lunge. So whether you're on your palms, or coming down into the forearms, whatever is accessible to you, wherever you are in your practice, wherever you are flexibility-wise, um, you're just fine where you are. You'll get a stretch regardless. Okay, if it's Accessible. If you want to grab that right foot and pull it in toward the body. If you're not there, then staying in that lizard position is just fine. A lot of times too, if you're finding that there's a lot of uh, resistance or if, it, if you're really struggling or flexibility is really lacking, I like to take some deep breaths and concentrate on uh, where that tightness is. And a lot of times that will help to either lessen the intensity or it'll help your body actually open up more. So just take deep breaths in and send the breath wherever it needs to go. And letting go of the foot, bringing it back down, 
Straightening out your left leg, sinking back into the right. And folding forward. Good dog hair all over my mat now. <laughs> And coming forward, bringing left foot to the side, just heel toe it over, and then sinking down into your pigeon. So holding here for just a minute. And then when you're ready, you can make your way down into a resting pigeon. Remembering to keep your activate the, the active leg, you want that foot flexed just to protect the knee. So if, if you're on your left leg, flex that left foot. You don't want to have anything pull on your knee. And if it's in, if, if, it, if you want to, you can make your way Back again, grab that right foot and pull it in toward the body. foot if you've got it there. Coming up with a pigeon. There's one more uh, stretch I want to do. Just give me a second here. Just want to have the option here. Um, the last stretch that I'm going to show and demonstrate is hero pose. Uh, so if flexibility isn't uh, your strong suit, that's absolutely fine. Um, this, will absolutely, this will definitely help with that. Uh, it's hero pose. So you're sitting back into the heels. Um, they come just a little bit outside the hips. And then you can make your way into a resting hero if that's in your practice. If this is hard and difficult for you, you can actually use bolsters, uh, blocks, whatever you need to. Um, so you want to put that just underneath, the, between the feet. So you're gonna sit onto that and that'll take some of the pressure off of the hips and you can actually lean back that way as well um, onto the bolster and you can stay there. Um, you can elevate this if you need to, you can stack cushions as high as you need to. So if you're here, stack cushions up to where you need to go. Um, this bolster is uh, from Ajna Wellbeing and it's a fantastic bolster, it's nice and firm. Um, but you can get them anywhere. Uh, that's just where this one came from. They have a lot of nice colors too. I really love this sapphire. Um, so in your hero, if you're here, if you're raised, if you're elevated, that's fine. Um, if it's in your, um, I'm gonna turn around actually. If it's accessible to you, uh, you can take a resting hero. So you're gonna keep your, you're gonna sit down to your hero pose and then slowly, very slowly, Make your way down to the mat, bring your arms overhead, and just rest. I like this one for um, opening up really tight um, quad muscles. Uh, it helps to open up hip flexors. My hip flexors get very, very tight and then I end up getting a lot of pain there. Um, so this definitely helps to loosen that up. Um, a lot of my job before was sitting in a car and driving a lot and I found that um, my hips were getting very, very, very sore. And 
practicing a hero for about 30 seconds a day actually made a big difference and it got rid of all that pain. So um, I do like this one. I like a lot of the, uh, I like to do a lot of the, the lizard with the, the back leg pulled toward the body and also pigeon and a lot of that helps as well. So if you are sitting a lot, these deep hip openers will, will help you. So that is the end of our workout and stretching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this today. If, uh, if you did and you enjoyed it a lot and you really, and you want to join, let me know. Uh, just comment and, and share. You can send me a DM if you want. Um, if you had feedback or if there was something you want to see changed or um, want to see more of or less of, send, either comment on my video or send me a DM. Um, I'd love to see feedback. I'd love to hear what you think. Because uh, this is my first one. And um, I think tomorrow I might do a yoga flow. I just don't know what time. So <laughs> I have an appointment tomorrow. I don't remember what time it is. So I will post at some point today uh, if there will be a flow tomorrow. Uh, and you can join me here again on the mat. Thank you for joining me so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to get some shout outs. Um, I've got Johar here, Canoe, Honda Show. Uh, Tic Taki is here. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to I hope you guys join me again. Thank you.